Hi guys, it's Frau Nancy. Um, it, I was gonna do this on Friday, and this is my Friday outfit. So we're gonna pretend it's Friday. You could probably tell from all this technology it's not, but we're gonna pretend it is. So we're gonna give this week a big try to get through part of chapter nine, um, because we've done the last part of chapter nine, we're gonna try and get through at least the first part of chapter nine. And then after spring break, I think we'll still be doing this in uh, April, and we'll be doing the middle part of Chapter 9, which is directions. So that's going to be kind of fun. But right now, we need to do one new verb, okay, that is that is a verb that's just like a modal, but um, it's not a modal, but it acts like a modal. And then we're going we're gonna to do something funky with the word order, okay? So this is the beginning of Chapter 9, Seite 249. If you have your books, 249. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the vocab um, of the places in town. Okay? So it's in the blue box. So in der Innenstadt, you remember Innenstadt means the middle of town or downtown? And then we're going to be asking the question, wo ist? And you know what that means. So wo ist das Hotel? That's not too hard. Wo ist die Kirche? If you look at the picture, you can tell that that means the church. Please don't get it mixed up with die Küche, which is the kitchen. You don't want to be going to the kitchen when you should be going to church or vice versa. Wo ist das Rathaus? Does anybody know what a Rathaus is? It has nothing to do with a house for rats. Rat is the word in German for advice. This is a house of advice. Who gives advice way back when, when you only had a few buildings in town? The mayor. Rathaus is City Hall, downtown, okay? Wo ist der Marktplatz? This is the plaza where the market is held. It's usually held, it's usually right in front of the, um, church, the big church in the middle of town. You've got the church on one side and you've got the City Hall on the other. And the Marktplatz is where Farmer's Market comes in. That's basically what a Marktplatz is, okay? Wo ist die Bank? That's not real hard. Wo ist die Post? Is also not real hard. Wo ist das Museum? Not real hard. Wo ist der Bahnhof? We've seen the word Bahn before. Actually, if you look below, it says Wo ist die U-Bahn Station? So Bahn is the word in German for train. So a Bahnhof is the train station, the big train that goes from city to city. Remember, the U-Bahn is more like the BART. Um, that it goes underground within a city. So the Bahnhof is where the where the, the faraway trains um, come into town, the train station. Wo ist das Theater? Theater. Okay, that's where the um, plays are held and ballet and that kind of thing. Do you remember how to say the movie theater? Das Kino. So that belongs kind of in this box as well. Wo ist der Garten? Many um, German cities and American cities have large parks and gardens. And then wo ist die U-Bahn Station? And I just talked about that. Okay, so that would be the U-Bahn Station. Um, I do want you to add one word or two words because we just we added Das Kino, remember, for the movie theater. I would also, in this list of words, I would like you to add uh, the word die Haltestelle. L. Haltestelle. This is the bus stop. So Halten is the word for stop. This is a place, so a place that stops, so it's where the bus stops. Okay, die Haltestelle. Okay, so that's that's a bunch of vocab you could do. You could make yourselves a Quizlet, or you could do a, um, a flashcards, however you want to do, because we'll be using these uh, words when we're do doing our directions. If you look on page 249, you'll see a lovely little map. And all of these places are on the map. So if I want to say, wo ist das Rathaus? And I'm at the bank, you're going to tell me the directions and how to get there. Okay? So um, it's important to know this vocab. So that was the first part of tonight's lesson. And the second part is this new verb. Um, it is also in your book, of course. It acts just like, an, uh, it's kind of a, it acts just like a modal because it changes its stem but doesn't have endings. Okay? So the the word is the, the verb is wissen and it means to know. You probably already know automatically how to say I don't know. Ich weiß nicht, right? Ich weiß 
nicht. So you already know how to conjugate wissen, if you know how to do that, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to have ich weiß. And if I've told you it's just like a modal, then the R and the Z and the S, whoops, form match. So that's going to be weiss. And you know for the do form, it's going to be the same stem, but we're going to add the T. And then for the plurals, we go back to the infinitive looking thing where it's easy. Wist and then Z, wissen. Okay? So just to remind you, ich weiß means I know, du weißt means you know, er weiß means he knows, wir wissen means we know, etc., etc. If you, oops, if you want to look at it, it's on page 250 in the red box, um, and that will that will um, will help you with that. So that's the simple video for today. It really um, that's all there is to it. You need to memorize the vocab and you need to conjugate the wissen. The homework for today is going to be in the workbook, page, um, what did I say, 73. I'll write it all down for you in the assignment. And the thing with page 73, the other thing we're going to be doing here on the bottom is we're going to be reviewing how, do our, how, do we, say, how we say our it's. Okay, so this first sentence says, Wo ist blank Bahnhof? You look on your memorized words and you remember it's a masculine word, so you're going to say, Wo ist der Bahnhof? And then... B is, you're going to say, it is in such and such a street. Well, how do you say it for a dare word? Correct, er. So that's going to be, er ist in der Bayerstrasse. Okay? So it's vocab and it's um, genders of the vocab and then the it's. Pretty simple assignment. Okay? Tomorrow, um, there's going to be another, there's going to be a, a new video um, that I will make tomorrow uh, about word order and exactly what we're going to do when we ask for uh, directions. And Wednesday will be another one that has some language chunks like excuse me and I don't know and I'm sorry and I'm not from here kind of things. And then after that, on Thursday, by Thursday, I'm going to try and find you a fun little video to send you off into spring break. Because we don't do this during spring break. We go on break, which we probably don't do because we're sheltering in place, but we don't have to do a lot of German. Keep up the good work with Ben Liebt Anna. There's an assignment for you already um, for, the, for um, Wednesday. And I look forward to seeing you on our Zoom call. I think it's when, German 1 is Wednesday. I hope to get it figured out by then, and maybe we can all see each other. Take care, you guys. Hang in. We're going to get this done. Okay? Tschüss!